When it comes to buffers, swing machines, polishers, strippers, this machine here, in general, there are a few uh, problems that customers can encounter. Just want to review them and, and what to do. First of all, right here, you see the cord is wrapped up on the machine. Um, a lot of people will take a machine and they will take some of the cord off and they'll plug it up and they'll leave most of the cord wrapped up on the machine. This will have a re restriction in the electricity. It increases the amp draw on the machine and it could pop circuits. So if you have a, when you're stripping floors, if you are popping circuits, very oftentimes it's just because the cord is wrapped up on the machine. Another issue with the cords is the plug. There are three prong prongs on the plug and a lot of people take the cord and it's from somewhere way away from the wall, they yank the cord to pull it out. And what can happen then is this ground plug becomes detached and it becomes very unsafe. Um, swing machines, buffers, these are generally used in a wet environment and you have no ground fault if that's missing. So that's critical. The other thing that we have had some customers do is with the cord wrapped on the machine, they try to put the machine down and you can create a lot of strain on the lower cord wrap and break that. So it's really important before you get to use the machine to unwrap the cord all the way, string it out across the floor, then you can lower the machine to use. A third issue we have with the machines is we have customers who think that they can just drop the machine onto a pad driver like this, put the handle down, and then click the machine on to get it to engage. This will always create problems if you break the uh, nubs off the bottom of the machine. It could also very definitely hurt your pad driver. The pad driver has three grooves here that lock onto the bottom of the machine, and the proper way always to put a pad driver on the machine Put the machine down on its back, mount the pad driver, lock it in, and now you're good to go. That's perfect. Another thing that we see very often with machines out there, and we'll have a complaint from a customer that the machine is wobbling. Wobbling can happen from two reasons. First of all, if you put the pad, pad on, and it's offset from the machine. When you turn this machine on, you will get a lot of wobbling. There's no question about it because the pad is not or no, not balanced under the machine. So always put the pad on nice and even. Center the pad. Pad is centered, wobble goes away. The second thing that causes wobble on a machine is if a cust customer never takes that pad driver off the machine. So right now, on the back side of this machine, that pad is being compressed by the weight of the handle. If I walk away and leave this for two hours, I'm gonna come back. That pad is thin on one side, thick on the other side, I'll get wobbled. And in the long term, if you continually do this, you'll never be able to get the pad driver off the machine and sometimes the pad driver itself would, will become warped from this weight off to the side. So when you're done with your machine, always take the pad driver off and rinse it. 